Hi everyone and welcome to Monday Evening with Lillian. I'm an independent Stamping Up demonstrator from Alberta, Canada and I am so thrilled that you're joining me tonight. And first off, Happy New Year. I trust that you had a good holiday season or as good as it could be. It was definitely different for most of us, but welcome. Happy New Year and it is the most wonderful time of the year in Stamping Up's world. So let's just go down to my desk and talk about what's so wonderful. Here we go. We'll get you all set up here and I just have to get my computer up. Hi Karen, hi Diana, it's so good to have you here. And I think I am in business. Let's just see. Yeah, it looks like it. So there we go. Yes, Karen, you caught me live. That's excellent. Okay, why is it the most wonderful time of the year? It is the night before. I guess you would call it the mini catalog and celebration eve. Um, it, it goes live tomorrow. So... Um, I still can't show you the inside of this amazing catalog, but you can look at the outside of it. I can show that to you, and it looks pretty interesting, and I can also show you the back. And this is some great paper, and they've actually painted and then taken pictures for that paper. So it is fabulous, and I just had to take a suite from in here and share it with you tonight. So that's what's on the agenda once we get started. So it's a sneak peek night. If you don't want to uh, see a sneak peek, I, then uh, close your eyes or turn this off. But I think many of you already have your catalogs. If not, there has been a glitch with because the postal system has been swamped. There's, it's uh, Some people have them, some don't. Some have one, some have both. So let me know if that's an issue and I can definitely get it to you again. And if you get two, you can share with a friend. So not only is the mini catalog going live, well, a minute after midnight tonight, I'm just calling it tomorrow, so is celebration. This is full of of items that you can't buy. You only earn, get them for free when you earn them. So for every $60 you spend, you get to choose something from here. There even are a few larger items like stamp sets that have, or have way more stamps or they have um, paper with the stamps, that kind of thing. If you spend $120, you get them free. So it, huge way to multiply your money. Also, and I'm going to talk more about this tomorrow, so it pays to shop during celebration. It pays to host during celebration. Um, you get a special extra benefit there, and so if you look at the back here when you are looking through it, it will tell you that. And it also pays to sign up to be a demonstrator during this time, and I'm going to be talking about that later this week, but just just be aware, if you are looking at getting something tomorrow, um, make sure you look at all of those details. All right, and now I'm just going to put this to the side because something else is happening tomorrow. Ever since the annual catalog has come out, we've had this coming soon sticker on top of the mini stamp and cut emboss machine. Guess what? We can take this off beginning tomorrow customers can now order this. So if that's uh, something you want, demonstrators could order it the beginning of December, so all of December. That's one of the, the benefits of being a demonstrator. You get to usually get to order things a month early. Uh, but this is going live, so um, just something else to put in your little idea bank there. And so Karen and Karen and Diana and Judy, hi everyone, so good to see you. I am trying to be organized tonight. Um, I had a fun day of homeschooling grandchildren thanks to COVID. So my brain is feeling a little bit uh, wonky, I guess is the word. Uh, they were good and all of that, but boy, hats off to parents who are homeschooling during this week and trying to work and that have multiple children at home. We only had two and there were two adults, so 
it was, you know, that was somewhat beneficial, but boy, you really do have to keep on your toes. Hi, Susan. Now we, I don't know if you're having to look after grandchildren or not right now, but uh, it's, it's interesting. Daycares are closed and all kinds of things. Anyway, enough about that rambling. This, the suite I am going to show you tonight, has five things in it. It has um, beautiful designer paper, and I'm going to show that to you in more detail. It has... It also will make you hungry, I'm sure. Um, it has the sweet ice cream stamp set. So you've got all of these stamps here, and we're going to look at those in more detail in a few minutes. It has this great punch. So it's part of a bundle. I know there's a reflection there, but there's the ice cream scoop and the ice cream cone. So it, if you buy it as a bundle, you save 10%. Um, what else is in the suite? Oh, these neat little confetti dots, ice cream corner sprinkles, they're called. And look at that, and they go with the paper perfectly. So they make good shaker cards, but tonight I'm going to show you a few other things you can do with them too. They are so much fun. And last but not least is this gorgeous, gorgeous ribbon. This is Blackberry Bliss. And it goes with this paper. Look at how it goes. Isn't that pretty? And again, you're going to see all these things in action tonight. So let me show you the paper, and then we will move on to... I've got... Well, you'll be able to tell that I had a little bit of fun with this suite. I've got a few samples to show you. And then we're going to make a card together, just so you can see things in action. So this designer paper, some of it I don't have full sheets of anymore. It has three sheets that have ice cream treats on them. So there's the soft ice cream here and um, the creamsicle or whatever here and the hard ice cream here. And I know I've asked this before, but um, just a quick question. Which are you? Are you a soft ice cream person? Um, a creamsicle or whatever that you want to call this, or a hard ice cream person. And while you're uh, leaving that comment, on the back of these papers, you've got this. So it's not ice cream so much as it's just a, uh, a nice geometric type of design. And this punches out beautifully for a cone. So if you don't want to stamp a cone, you can just punch out the paper. So there's those three, which are sort of food-related, I guess you could see, say. And then there are three more, and for want of a better word, we'll call them a splotch-related. Um, I just love the, the great designs here. So there's this is with your blues and greens. These are your corals and yellows. And then your purples and a little bit of your coral in there. So great colors there. And then on the back, you've got these great, again, geometric designs. So whether you like the, the um, loosey-goosey kind of design or the more um, organized kind of design or a little of both, you've got choices there. And the samples tonight are going to definitely show you how some of these um, work. Just before I bring in the samples, I wanted to bring this in to show you um, what colors go with this this paper and there are a lot so B Bermuda Bay which is likely one of my favorites um, a Blackberry Bliss uh, Bumblebee Cinnamon Cider and so it goes so you can go into your pastels or you can go with your stronger colors so there's a little bit of um, creamsicle now I want one I know Karen isn't that the way every time I look at this paper I want to go have a treat it's not doing much for losing weight here um, so anyway um, th that's where I'm at so let's bring in some of the samples Marilyn loved the entire suite yes I I don't often buy an entire suite at least not in the pre-order this one I bought the entire suite and Oh, those of you who know me know my brain's going sideways. Um, the entire suite, those five products cost, if you bought them all together with the 10% off on the bundle, cost $75.75. And guess what? That would earn you a free celebration item. So you could um, 
make that really work for you. So I wanted to show you just a couple of creamsicle cards. Now here I used our note cards. So these are a little smaller than our regular size card. Let me just, so here's our regular size card. So it's a little bit smaller, but the nice thing about these is they come already cut and scored and with the envelope. Now, as many of you know, our supplier of our Whisper White products um, had to close during because of COVID, but I think uh, the new stuff won't be far down the road. So the, um, if uh, you want to put that on your list, it will be coming. Now, I had planned this to be a, a simple stamping card to stamp right on here. And that's how I started, but I stamped crooked, so then I had to put a layer on. So, And I really like the layer on, so you know so often our mistakes turn into something good. So how did I get the two colors? Well, in the stamp set, we've got these two here. So you can stamp this. Um, here I just stamped it full strength, and this one I stamped it off. I stamped it on scrap paper first so it was lighter and that's how I got the two colors there. And they fit together really nicely. And then there's the little stick so you just stamp that on, on your own. So it's really, really easy to work with. Um, well, as you know, now I'm just dropping stuff here and I better pick it up because I don't have you here to tell me that it's on the floor. So anyway, and these are the fonts for the words. Aren't they great? So that's um, just a couple of really simple, quick cards. You can make a set of these to gift somebody um, really quickly. And if you've got kids' birthday parties coming up, do this and you're set to go. So there's two cards. And then still using the, um, well, I'm going to do a little side trip, trip here again. So when you stamp, punch out the ice cream cone, you get the scoop and you get... The, the cone so it goes together like that but you know it's always good to look at your punches in different directions when you go like that what do you see I see a teddy bear face or maybe it could be Mickey or Minnie Mouse or whatever if I turn this well not only is it a triangle it is um, maybe a party hat. So here again, a very simple card. Um, so I, I just punched this out of designer paper and then I found a little flower punch and put it there and put it on dimensionals. Again, this font, Sue, you love the fonts. I know, I just love the fonts too. I, I'm drawn to words. So um, maybe because I never can remember, think of what to say myself. So I'm really happy when with the words do all the talking um, but gorgeous gorgeous fonts so there's just another one there and remember I shared that this could be a Mickey Mouse well I received this card in the mail today from Linda Baker and Susan it's not the Linda Baker you and I grew up with it's a different Linda Baker someone that lives here but look at how she has used these to be Mickey and Minnie. Isn't that cute? So she was on that same wavelength there. So I just think that's a really cute way of showing that. So let me just show you some of the, uh, this is going to be really random now. Uh, those of you who know me know that's sort of how I roll. Um, but here I'm using the soft ice cream designer paper and then some of the geometric here and the ribbon. The hearts are in the annual catalog but the words are from the little stamp and that little heart it's going you're going to just love those comes in red or white and it's in the mini catalog so be searching for that in there and here comes another card and for this card here I just cut the ice cream cones right out of the designer paper and then I added some sequins and the You're So Cool is right from it as well. This is not ribbon, that's just cardstock. So it is just a quick way of doing it. And then I had a scrap of cardstock left, so I put it on the inside. That's always a good way to use your cardstock or your stamps. Um, and then here's another. And look at the font just, oh, then Blackberry Bliss looks so good. This, I punched the ice cream the cone part out of the designer paper 
And where did this paper come from? Well, that just happens to be a set of paper, so you can see where I punched some of it out here, that is going to be, uh, that you can earn for free in celebration. It's called Oso Ombre, it's because it has the graduated colors here. And it comes in Blackberry Bliss and, oh, I, I'm blanking out on my color. Somebody knows this color. Is it Rococo Rose? I think it's Rococo Rose. And then when you flip them over, they are Bermuda Bay and Granny Apple Green. So you've got all kinds of colors there. I have used these papers a ton already. And so I use the ombre one right here for the background and then for the the dark ombre up here part here and the lighter one here and then in the stamp set there are some sprinkles so I just stamped the sprinkles on here and then also uh, we have some gorgeous gorgeous pearls in uh, another part of the uh, mini catalog they're in with the hydrangeas and um, so be sure to check them out because they work with this suite beautifully as well so let's uh, continue. Oh, got to bring that back in. One more thing. The background here. Not only is it neat designer paper, but I don't know if you can see there's a new embossing folder being used there. And it is called the Painted Texture 3D Embossing Folder. So it's one of the thick ones. And it is great. I am using it so, so much. What, there's a couple of just gorgeous embossing folders so that's what was used there and I'm going to use this again in the card we make in a bit so we'll keep that and then here's another card happy birthday hope it's sweet so you can mix your stamps together so again this is designer paper I stamped the sprinkle stamp in the background to make the background did the stamping here and while I was doing that I thought hmm I want to be able to tell what flavor I like. So I started to stamp different colors and I labeled it so that I would know. And so that I could maybe work on different different flavors here. So um, I'm getting lots of positive response to the embossing folder. Yes, it's, it's amazing. I love it. So while I'm looking at this, what flavor of ice cream do you like? Uh, leave a comment here. I would love to know what flavor. Um, my husband, believe it or not, he'll ask all the flavors and then he'll always order vanilla. Um, but mind you, he has a nut allergy, so I think he feels safe with vanilla. Um, I, I love burgundy cherry. I love Rocky Road. I um, kind of am all over the map. When I was growing up, it was strawberry because there were basically only three flavors growing up, right? When we were growing up, strawberry, chocolate, and vanilla. Um, I remember when we get, got to have a rainbow ice cream cone, we thought we hit the jackpot. Okay, but moving on. Here's the sprinkles in a shaker card. So these... I put some sequins in with the sprinkles, a bit of ribbon here, and again, I stamped this one and then punched this just out of the, oh, you guys are making me hungry already. Um, so the, here's a, just a simple shaker card, and if you've been watching my other videos, I did one on a simple shaker card not too long ago where we just use our clear envelopes. There's more than one way to make a, a shaker card, but this is one quick way and who doesn't love a shaker card and then this one here I wanted to show you how I attached the sprinkles so for these ones here all I did was I took my multi-purpose glue and just put a dot and then I used my take your pick tool or you could use tweezers and picked up a sprinkle and then just put it down in the dots and it, they stick really really well but what about this cluster well, I was watching another demonstrator do it, and what she did is she took her uh, Seal Plus. I, I haven't tried it with Seal, but Seal Plus does work. And all she did was she just ran it down the ice cream, and then she sprinkled some of these in and gave them a push, and they are stuck in there. Isn't that neat? So two ways of adding these sprinkles as well as using them on a shaker card. So those are... Uh, 
the samples that I was going to show with you and now let's make a card. So let's bring in, and I haven't made this card yet, but I have it in my head. So that's always an interesting thought, I know, but we will bring it in and see what happens. So first off, I'm using a half a sheet of Thick Whisper White and it's five and a half by eight and a half and with the eight and a half side in the paper trimmer I scored it in half at four and a quarter so it's a basic card so it's just oh moved things so I'd be organized and then I look in the wrong place so now we have our basic card shape so we'll put that to the side and then I have this and I'm bringing this piece in that I ran through the embossing folder and that is just going to attach onto this. So this second piece is just an eighth of an inch bigger, an eighth of an inch bigger this way, an eighth of an inch bigger that way. And so it just makes that tiny little border that I always find quite attractive. Now, some of you don't like eighths, no worries. Make it a quarter of an inch. So let's fasten those pieces together because I happen to know that I don't have to fasten any ribbon or anything in. So, and liquid glue is really good on embossing folders because it goes into the cracks and it's a really strong glue. So I should have had my stamp, my silicone mat so I had a little contrast in color. Let's bring it in here. The other nice thing about the liquid glue is it is you can wiggle it a little bit and get it. There we go. I think that's pretty good. Um, and then we can bring it in. Now we can either glue it right down or put it on dimensionals. It's our choice, right? Um, seems I've got my dimensionals out. Well, they have to be buried under all those samples, but I'll bring them in and I'm going to put them on dimensionals because I just happen to like dimensionals a whole lot. So, there. Be a little bit generous. Peel the backings off. We find these backings all over our house. They stick to everything. and They fall on the floor and then end up on my shoes. Some of you who have made cards for a while. Where are some interesting places you have found dimensionals? I've heard some good stories along the way. There, so now we've got our card base made. Oh, I do like it on the dimensionals. It adds a little bit of extra oomph, doesn't it? So let's put that aside and let's build our card. And I'm going to bring in this because I'm going to stamp happy birthday on that. And I'm going to bring in my punch and let's stamp the happy birthday first just because when you're stamping on vellum it takes your ink a little bit longer to dry and I cut my vellum one inch wide because I wanted to use the banners pick a punch and flag the ends so let's slide it in make sure it's straight so turn it over and make sure you found dimensional backings on your cat. Oh, I'm sure your cat was thrilled about that, Karen. There, see how nicely it flags that end? And now let's do the other end. I like to do the flag the ends first because it helps me know where to do my stamping. And it always goes shooting all over the place. There we go. So now we will put this here and bring in the stamp. And I'm going to use Blackberry Bliss because it's a nice, strong color. And I'll just ink it up. Every time I ink up a stamp, I think of Tara because she's always, when she used to take classes from me, she'd laugh. I'd always go tap, tap, tap. It was three taps. Do you, you likely, we all have our little routines, right? Sue on the bottom of your dog's paws. <laughs> yes, I can. I can believe that. Ah, uh, there, that got that pretty good. All right, so we're going to put that to the side to dry. Hopefully, not put my finger in it. And now, I am going to punch out. I'm going to close up the ink before I 
do something disastrous with it. And I'm going to punch out, well, I want to punch out a cone and I want to punch it from here, but I'm going to show you what a little trick. When I punch out extra things, I keep them in a plastic sleeve in here for the next time. And I've got an extra one here, so I don't have to punch that one out. We'll put that to the side and I'll keep that plastic sleeve there because I am sure I will have more things to put in there down the road. And some of you are saying you're going to order this set tomorrow. Yes, I can see why. It is so neat. Now I want to have one ice cream that is bluish and I'm going, I want to punch it out of this paper. So I took some scrap paper so that I could move it around. So yeah, no, that doesn't make my taste buds water, but this, this looks pretty good. So let's punch that one out. And so I think I'm going to have to do a little snip here and see how we go. Oh, I should have snipped from the other way. I think I can still make it work. There, so this is one way to use the splotches in the paper is to um, use it for your ice cream. All right, so we've got one. Now I want um, a darkish purple. So I want to zero in on the Blackberry Bliss. So that one would work well. That, not enough. So I want that. So again, I, how does this go in my punch? Like that. So I'm just going to cut some of this off. It's always good to strategize how a, something goes in your punch. Ooh, look at that. It even looks like I've got sprinkles on it. I'm going to get a bit more of that corally on the bottom. There we go. wonder what flavor that would be. All right. And then I want this, and I would like it to be, let's see, I think I want it to be like that because it's already got sprinkles on it already, doesn't it? Let's see if it'll fit in my punch or if I need to do a little trimming. Oh, that one worked perfectly. So now I have three flavors of ice cream and I have my cone and I just need to build it. So what I'm going to do is just put a little bit of the adhesive here like that. And I always like to do this on my silicone mat because then if it comes out the edges a little bit, it'll be fine. So there's one. And let's see, you can make it as straight or crooked as you want. I think I'm going to go that way a little bit. So I'll put my glue here and then just wiggle it around. And remember, if I'm really quite quick, I will be able to move them if I don't like it. Fran, black, bubblegum, blackberry, and strawberry cone. Oh, yum. Now that sounds like quite the combination. Might have got that a little bit too much of an angle. There we go. We'll angle you back over this way. And there's my cone. That looks like it's going to fall on the ground. I remember talking to a friend not too long ago. And she was saying how she always gives the cone part to her dog. Or not always, but she often does. And I said, what? That's my favorite part is the cone part where the ice cream and the cone is together. Um, so are do you, what's your favorite part? Do you like the, the ice cream part, the cone part, or the, absolutely everything? And I am, I think, going to put that right flat. The reason I'm going to put it flat is because I want to be able to hold that down there that's that's where I'm heading with this so I could put it on dimensionals but I don't think I have to this time I'll try it without and I might change my mind for next time so there we go and let's center it and now I'm going to put this on but the trick with attaching vellum of course is that you don't want your adhesive to show. So before I attach my vellum, I'm going to add 
some embellishments and this I just happened to choose the elegant faceted gems which are so pretty now there are tons of fun embellishments in this new catalog as well um, but it's fun to mix and match a little bit too so let's see if I put a pretty good sized clear one right about here after well let me see here here yeah I'll put it here then I can put a, a glue dot behind it and no one will be the wiser. And I'm going to, whoops, it went shooting. I'm going to put another one maybe here. So now I can get my adhesive on and then I, I will do some more. But let's bring in some mini glue dots now and I can be very strategic. I'm going to even make them a little bit smaller. So I'm going to wrap them around there a little bit and put one here behind that embellishment and another one I'm going to to uh, gum it up nice and small and put it behind that embellishment and ooh, I am liking this card I saw this idea on Pinterest you know famous old Pinterest and then I thought, well, this would be a fun card to make with you. And I'm really glad I am because it is really making me happy. And I'm going to put one more right about here. Sort of looks like the ice cream is melting. So there is the card that we uh, made tonight. Wouldn't that be fun to get? And it was so simple. And I need to put a little more adhesive under there. So simple and easy to do with this suite. So do watch out. This week I am going to be sharing stuff all week long. Tomorrow, um, oh just Karen, I love waffle, oh I love waffle cones, yes, oh yes, yeah, you, you're making me hungry. I better stop reading your comments there. Um, so uh, just, I ramble, I'm rambling here a little bit. I better get back on track. Um, tomorrow morning at 10.30, I'm going to do a quick walk, or not, maybe, might be not quick, but it's a basic walk through the two new catalogs that are coming. And then all week long, I'm going to be sharing different suites. That's why I'm calling it How Sweet It Is, a little play on words. And um, so I hope to be doing Facebook Lives fairly often this week. I will try to post the day before. Uh, but I do know that 10.30 tomorrow morning, I'm doing the walkthrough. And I thought this way we could see the product spread out and not try to do it all in one set sitting. So th this is my goal, and we'll see how it goes for a catalog type of kickoff. So um, let me see. I better look at my notes because I know I had a few more things. Oh, yes. If you were making a really big ice cream cone, for example, if I had a few more scoops on this, this cone might look a little too small, but guess what would work as a cone? If you have the triangle dies, some of these would work great as a cone, right? Just use them like that. Or there's this one. So you could make that as big as you, you wanted. You could make the ice cream cone as big as you wanted. And let me look at this uh, some more. Tomorrow, ordering. Uh, tomorrow, I am ordering at noon. So if you are wanting to uh, place an order tomorrow, if you just can't wait to get your hands on some of the products, let me know before tomorrow noon. That's when it's going in. And um, let me see what else. Oh, one little bit of housekeeping. And where did I put this? Um, Stamping Staycation registration went live today. And... There was a little glitch with my register now buttons, but I think it's fixed, so please feel free to use it. It's a wonderful, wonderful event that's coming up January 30th, and if you're busy January 30th, that doesn't matter. You can do it whenever you want because it will all be online and it will stay online, so then you can stop and start it when you want, and it will, it's just so much fun. So there are two other demonstrators, Marilyn and Joanne and myself, and we do this. We pick product, and you, what you get to do is use what you have on hand. We will show you um, different kinds of products. Uh, uh, pardon me. We'll choose one 
project, use it in, with different products, and then say, go for it. And speaking of which, and speaking of the paper that we just did, I offered a class at the end of last week um, called um, Oh, something about designer paper. I forget. Some of you took it. Um, so what it was is you look at your stash, take a six by six piece of designer paper and a couple of pieces of coordinating cardstock and come and sign up for the class. It was $15 and I did a YouTube and a Facebook live and I showed you what to, you could do, how to cut that paper and then uh, how many what cards you could make so one of the samples I did several samples so it's very much like stamping staycation and that you use what you have but one of the samples was the ice cream paper so from a six by six piece of this splotchy uh, designer paper I made this card this card uh, this card this card and this card. So if that class is interesting to you, uh, um, do contact me about that too. But this also shows you that designer paper with the ice cream suite in action with in a non-ice cream way. So thank you so much for um, joining me tonight. Can you tell I'm a little excited? It's it's a great suite as are lo so many of the suites in the catalog and Take care. The catalog, if you don't have your catalog, you can contact me, but it will be online just after midnight tonight as well. So you can see it there. Never as nice as seeing it in person, I know, but at least it gives you a glimpse. So thanks for joining me. Thanks for being such good people and have a wonderful beginning to your new year. Bye-bye.